Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For those new here, my name is Nikki, I'm an author and editor and I post videos here on YouTube about writing, editing, reading and all the other things I love. Today we're here for a booktube tag, it's the author A to Z tag. Uh, it was created by Jen Campbell and I'll put a link to the original video below for you. The point of this tag is to list an author uh, with a surname beginning with each letter in the alphabet and to mention a book of theirs. Uh, ideally you're meant to pick them off your shelves, uh, but if you can't you can pick one who you would like to read. In my case I managed to find books on my shelf for every letter except X, however I realised I had read a book by an author called X, I just don't have a copy here anymore. So um, these are all books that I have read and enjoyed. Uh, given the nature and how long this video could end up being if I start carrying on too much about each book, I'm only going to give a real snapshot, a um, couple of sentences about each story, but I will include in the description below a list of all these authors and books so you can go and find out more about them if you so desire. So with no further ado, I'm going to crack straight on into this collection. So start off A, Catherine Arden, The Bear and the Nightingale, which is the first book in her Winter Night Trilogy, which is a fantasy series based around Russian mythology and folklore. B. Mikhail Bogakov's The Master and Margarita, which is a fascinating story in, in Russia with talking cats and all sort of mystical goings on. Number, uh, number C. <laughs> Letter C. Wilkie Collins' The Woman in White, one of the great classics of Victorian melodrama. D. Osimudadzai, No Longer Human, um, which is a really uh, major Japanese literary work. Uh, it's a little bit of an existential crisis kind of tale. E. Per Olaf Enquist's The Visit of the Royal Physician, which is a fictional account of um, Johann Friedrich Strunzi's uh, involvement with the Danish court, and in particular the Danish Queen. F. E. M. Foster, A Room with a View, which is one of the great uh, classic books of Edwardian literature, uh, and also has amazing uh, Tuscan and Florence uh, scenes going on in the story. G. Clay and Susan Griffith, The Grey Friar, which is the first book in the Vampire Empire trilogy, uh, or I should say series now, there are a few more books now, and it is a vampire story with a bit of a steampunk twist. H. Thomas Hardy, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, um, a great you know, classic of Victorian literature once again, and one of my favourite of Hardy's works. I. Christopher Isherwood, The Berlin Novels. Uh, these are the stories upon which the musical Cabaret is based. J. Elfrida Jelinek, The Piano Teacher. Uh, this is a really amazing story that was also turned into a wonderful film starring Isabel Hubbard. Uh, K. Milan Kundera, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. Kundera is one of my absolute favourite uh, writers and The Unbearable Lightness of Being is arguably his most famous work. L. Haltdor Laxness, um, Independent People. Uh, Haltdor Laxness is one of my favourite authors again, he's Icelandic, and Independent People is one of his key works. He's a winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature. M. Haruki Murakami, Kafka on the Shore. This was the first book of uh, Murakami's that I've read, and I'm a huge fan of all his work. N. Vladimir Nabokov, Lolita, uh, which is such just a key, um, important modern classic text. O. Oh, Stephen Orr's Dissonance. This is a story that is fictional but is loosely based on the life of Percy Granger, the composer, pianist, and the relationship he had with his mother. Q. Thomas de Quincey's Confessions of an English Opium Eater, which is a fairly autobiographical work from the early 19th century. R. Anne Rice's Interview with a Vampire, uh, which is one of the first major vampire series that I ever read that uh, really helped get me into vampires as a genre. S. V. U. Schwab's Vicious. Uh, this is an amazing take on the superhero novel. It's almost an anti-superhero novel in some ways. T. Yana Tabosa's Black Butler manga. Um, one of my favourite mangas. Absolutely love it. Uh, U. Sigrid Unset's Kristin Lavransdatter, which is a really epic um, tale set in Sweden, a great family saga. 
uh, V, Virgil's the Aeneid, um, one of the absolute real classic classics from the ancient world. W, Horace Walpole's The Castle of Otranto, which is arguably the first uh, gothic novel. X, Gao Xinjiang, Seoul Mountain. Uh, this is about the author's journey across the remote mountains in southwest China. Uh, it's kind of a story of discovery. He was diagnosed with cancer, but then uh, it was discovered that uh, the next scan was clear. So this was his way of um, appreciating his second chance at life, if you like. Um, why? Chelsea Quignabro, Better in the Dark, which is one of my favourite novels from her historical vampire series, the Saint-Germain series. And finally, Z, Emile Zola's Thérèse Racan, which is a book I first read in university and um, have always loved. So that was my author A to Z. As I said, I'll pop my answers below for you in case you want to check out any more about these books. Uh, do give the tag a try yourself. I'd be keen to read everyone's answers. I'll in there for now, but I look forward to seeing you all again very soon with another vlog. Bye for now, everyone.